Hello and welcome as this is the 8th day of July 2018 and let's take a look at silver but talk about the volume that has become an interesting topic on Netdania. This is the silver spot price on the uh, TradingView website, the US dollar version. And when I go to the hourly time frame, I, I see volume here. However, all these longer term time frames just don't seem to have it. The daily, the three hour seems to have it. 400 minute doesn't have it. Actually it does, it didn't before. But when we take a look at the volume in here, whether this is artificial volume, real volume, a portion of what kind of volume, meaning from this source or this exchange and this exchange and this place of trading, I really don't know. However, it's been pretty consistent throughout the day in different times or more busy, busier than others, which makes sense given the US time frame versus the non US time frame. And when we take a look at this on Netdania, I have the this says this should be the silver silver spot right up here even though I'm looking at euro US dollar charts up here but $16 pretty much what the price of silver is we can push the volume button in here and we're on the 30 minute time frame so we're really looking at volume from the last little while if we see something like say the four hour chart push in the volume again and well there we can see the change that's come into the market on a six hour I mean all of a sudden large volume appears we can see the scale on the right hand side the upper part is 211 million and the secondary line is 100 million so there's been several day or several quarter days with this much being traded. If we scroll back to beforehand, the volume was basically on this period well below a million every time. It got up to over two once and a few times before it could break a million here and there. So about a hundred X larger amount of volume. If we look at something like the daily time frame, because I think that's important as well. I just got to find the 1D on here somewhere. I got 30 second. That is just crazy. Okay. That's just crazy. A 30 second time frame. On the daily, let's put the volume in. See, this is volume that it has like I'm not seen ever pretty much. We go back and then it does that. Let's go the longest time frame that they have. The monthly. And there we can see during all ever since the volume started, even at the top, that it's just all of a sudden peaked. And when extreme volume comes in. To me, there is only three things that can happen with the third being a very, very unlikely event, especially on a silver market, but something you might see on a lower crypto coin. The third one is most certainly a possibility. And when we look at this on a daily chart, we haven't seen anything that would indicate a large amount of volume would be present for when we look at charts that have big moves and I'm going to put a crypto one up just because it's actually got the volume on it. So let's just do something of relevance. XCM is always big enough. Monero is probably better. When you have this big volume on this big rally period, you have periods of bigger volume over others like in here versus now. And of course you have it with the big moves. Those are normal forms of volume being big. It's going to be big selling or big buying. So when big volume comes up, in this case, you would expect big volume selling 
to bring the price you'd think at least down to 14. And big volume buying, depending on how thick the sell orders are, at least up to the 17 and change level, but probably even further higher than that. And of course, none of those events are even close to take into place, nor is the third one. The third one is when the market really doesn't move at all. But for that to be the case, there would be a support or resistance level that, that its exact number would never get over on resistance or never get lower on support. For imagine if in an order book, somebody wants to buy, say, 200 and that's 295 million dollars worth of silver at 1602 they put a buy order in for that price or just any insane number of that nature obviously we're talking like a big big game whatever a large big game number is compared to the normal like hundreds and thousands of times even a, a big game buyer big game seller and what happens here is if someone put a buy order for 1602 and there was somebody who really wanted to get out, a big, other big game players, of course, they're like, oh my goodness, I got the opportunity to have a big unload, if you will. And then they do such. And then other people along the way. And that can cause big volume without the price really moving. Thus, support would never break 1602. And say, for example, someone was putting a sell order in at this number. Someone's got a huge amount they want to get rid of. Now, the big whales, the big buyers, they're, they're waiting to get into this and buy big at a cheap price. And they realize in almost every case at $16, the amount they want to buy, even 10% is going to bring the market up over, say, 10%. And they don't want to do that. But now they have an opportunity to buy tremendous, uh, or is, they have to buy tremendous at that level. Thus, they do so. And then the price would never get above 1602 because of the big sell wall that would take place. Again, this is more common to occur amongst cryptocurrencies, and it's really not that common at all. For if somebody even has a buy or sell order that's at a magnificently extreme level, one, it's, it's usually only so big, meaning it's nothing of ex extraordinary proportions, and number two, that doesn't mean it's going to get, uh, it's going to be taken out too much. So maybe only 10% of it or a small amount will be played upon it. So with this big volume on Netdania, to me, I'm looking at what's probably a double artificiality. For this market is artificially traded. And that's a no-brainer. If it wasn't artificially traded, that means every buyer of this market that gained their silver on such could then use that actual item, thus getting silver. For in cryptocurrencies, anytime you buy a crypto, you can push the withdraw you and then send it, which is basically what cryptos are, a transfer of wealth, a transfer of numbers, and you can move it through the blockchain. And then you can do what you want. You can buy the Bitcoin. You can buy the Litecoin. You can go to this website that's selling something and then have t-shirts come in the mail or whatever it is later on. So that in that set, because whenever you buy the cryptocurrency for its actual tangibility, you're actually getting that. Thus, there is no artificialness amongst the trading. So that's one factor in itself which is a big reason why I like to purchase the physical metal because of its artificial movements that have been brought towards mainly to the downside since well before not only I was alive, but my father was alive. And even when he was alive, when his father was alive, that's how suppressed this has been. So that's why I like the physical commodity and the double artificialness is the data. Like why all of a sudden is the data so much bigger? Is there 200 times the amount of participants that just started playing the game and it just worked out that neither of them had a large enough consensus to move the market in either direction? No, 
Although mathematically possible, no. You can you have a better chance of winning the Powerball multiple times in a row. It's no. And thus, are they getting data in at a different level, different variable? Maybe. More likely, I would think. So I, I'm not going to put any influence into such. In fact, if anything, it's easy to throw this away because if I want to see volume, I want to see the real volume that actually took place within the market. And at that point, then I can gauge it more for how it's played. So I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a magnificent day. Bye-bye.